Hey guys, how you all doing today? Doing a brand new movie review. This one is going to be for Maze Runner Scorch Trials. So Scorch Trials is the second installment to the Maze Runner trilogy starring Dylan O'Brien. And I can't remember her name, but she plays uh, Effie in Skins. I can't remember her name. Um, this film pretty much takes off from where the first film ended, uh, literally. Um, the first half an hour of this film was, I wouldn't say boring, but it was quite slow paced. It was pretty much the same sort of thing as the first one, them being trapped. Um, as the first half hour does take quite a big spin and does the complete opposite of the first, from being trapped in a confined space to being trapped in quite a large space. Um, they literally have the entire world in this film to be trapped. The synopsis of the film, the, the, the synopsis of this film is pretty basic. Um, I don't want to waste too much time here because I'll leave the link for the trailer down below. Pretty much Thomas and his group of, uh, I don't know what you call them, um, Glade, no, I wouldn't call them Gladers, um, but his group of friends uh, after they escaped the maze, they're now being put into this safe place and Thomas sort of discovers that they're doing some dodgy stuff there. So him and his friends decide to leave uh, or escape and from there they decide to do something. I'm sorry for that train in the background. Um, but they decide to escape from this place after they find out what they're doing. I'm not going to spoil it. I uh, don't want to spoil anything that wasn't in the trailer. Um, but I found this film was really, really well done. It, uh, the cinematography was just amazing and some of the shots were just incredible. The story for this, for Score Trials, was so well told. I think Wes Ball, who was the director of these films, has done such a great job bringing these from book to film. I read the first book first book just after the first film came out last year and I read the second book pretty much straight after and I'm saving the third book until just before the third one comes out next year in September which I cannot wait for that's my most anticipated film for next year um, as was Swallow Trials for this year this was my most anticipated film for the year and it did not disappoint um, I did have my doubts when it did first start and they'll track trapped in the, uh, whatever you want to call it, safe place. I did have my doubts, I'm like, oh, I don't know if this will live up to the expectations. I think this will uh, fail, not fail, but I think this will have a uh, sequel syndrome. It definitely does, and this is one of those sequels that is so well done. They've completely flipped the series on its ass. And I think Wes Ball and James Dash, and I have to give it to him as well, because he did write the series. I think they have really done something great here with this trilogy. And so for the next train there, there are trains going past all the friggin' time. Um, but yeah, I think this series is going really well and I cannot wait for the third installment to come. Um, you do see a little bit more of Wicked in this one, which I think is great. Um, and there is a lot of uh, key plot um, things in here. Like there's a lot of shockers in there and stuff that you wouldn't expect to be in there. This is definitely one to check out in the theaters, guys. My theater was absolutely packed and the theater I went to was so big. It was like a VMAX screen. If you don't know what a VMAX screen is, it is a humongous screen. Like it's 20 something meters long. Um, it is so friggin' huge. And the theater, theater was almost full. There was like one seat left. It was so full. Um, and yeah, it, it was just a great film. Um, great writers on this day, James Dashner and the guys who did the uh, screenplay for this. Wes Ball, I think, did a great job at directing all the actors um, and whatnot. But the film is just so great. You guys just have to see in theaters to be able to know what I'm talking about. It's just such a great film. So thanks guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Definitely drop me down a comment. I do reply to all you guys in time. Um, also don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more and share this video around if you did enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video.